You have taught me something, Why? Sometimes duty must be cast aside. That was an easy boss. It must be done. It is not ah. duty that I kill you now. Die, wings. Now you're a fallen angel. Because you can't fly anymore. All you'll do is fall. Yuri Tart. Yuri. Septim. Reap what you have so betrayed. Sorry. Oi, why can't I see him get stabbed a deed? Hey look, a coin of squareness. It's not even hasn't even got blood on it. Oh no, it was poisoned. What? Whatever. Yeah. You knew you'd never play executioner because of your precious honor. I don't have honor. I just kill everything. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name, and you did. I know. This was their plan all along. Oi! Oi! Fuck you! Kill him. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. I've already got ideas. Not going back in your little cage. What cage? <laughs> it's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. Excuse me. It was, it was <laughs> supposed to be lost funny. it. Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. It's not my funeral. I'm laughing at yours. Uh oh. Oh, what the? Excuse me. Fuck you. The death oath is complete. That's just not fair. Oh, what have you done? Hell God, bitch! What did you do? Yeah, I know, that's what I asked. Put it back together. No, no, no! Yes, actually. Oh no, she dead now too. Going to pull your guts out through your she hasn't got a halo. Unless you mean the middle of the CD of her halo. Her, her copy of it. You didn't kill me once, she did. I was just following orders. Like you. Oh shut up. Finally. No, you. If I have to. I'm not trying to. I'm coming towards you, not away. I do. Crush him! Crush Navi's head. That's why I'm killing you. Oh great, who's going to help me with puzzles now? Did I? What did I know? What would happen to you? What I would do? No. That's why you spared me. I sparred. No. Then why? Cause... Because I would not have the last of heaven's honor die with its champion. Ah, how lovey. This is the start of a relationship. No. The duty I uphold. It may call me to raise my sword against you. Well, don't. And if that day comes, I won't hesitate. Oh, what a bitch. I just spared you. You will be hunted. I just called you. Called you a champion. The and will be others. Good, I'll you kill him. This war alone? Yeah, I am war. No. I am war. Not alone. Oh. Hey, look, rainbows are falling to the earth. What? What was that? What just happened? Was that the three tri forces of power? Or whatever. What do you mean? What was that? What do you mean, no, not alone? I don't get it. Probably because I'm an idiot and I don't understand shit. God, I expected a final dungeon of finality. But no, I guess the Black Throne was the true final dungeon. It's understandable, really, because it's quite a difficult one. Well then, Darksiders, play this game for fuck's sake. Sorry. That's all I have to say. No, go away, I'm trying to watch the credits. The mouse pointer as well. Everyone fuck off. But yeah, damn good game. Would have been better if Fraps wasn't being a twat, but you know, 
Fraps' twatness doesn't knock any points off the game itself. Neither does the failing to unlock achievements for some reason. That's Steam's fault, maybe, but whatever. Graphics. I mean, obviously they're not like ultra realistic or anything like that, but it, it's got like its style. It's a really cool style, I think. I like it. Yeah, it's just a really nice looking game. Well animated. Good areas and stuff and stuff. It's all just really cool. I guess it would be what I guess the um combat would be one of those things that you might call a spectacle fighter in some ways. Like Devil May Cry style. Can you go away, enter to continue? Oh no, I can click it as well. That's not enter. Anyway, yeah. Graphics, I don't know. Probably like nine out of ten. It's not perfect, but I don't think it's. I think it's a semi old game now, anyway. I don't like giving ratings anymore, but whatever. So, um, audio. Music's great. Voice acting is great. I mean, it's a bit. The main character's voice is a bit silly, because it's all like. over. over. overdone or something. I am war! I am very manly. What have you done? But whatever, who gives a moose? It's good voice acting for what it is, I guess. And yeah, you know, all all very satisfying sound effects of the sword swingage of shinkiness. And that's shinkiness. Not not C H, it's S H I T. No, shittiness, yeah. Yeah, all the music's good. All very good, really. It's a very noisy game, but whatever. It's probably because I'm recording, so I have the volume up more than I would. Very cool. I give that a nine as well. Just I wouldn't get. I don't give it a ten just because I think some of the voice acting is a bit over the top. But that's not necessarily a negative thing. That's just personal opinion. Gameplay, very fun. I think I think I'd probably give it an 8 because there are some bits that feel a bit awkward like I mean yes a lot of it is me just not being good at the game and probably well probably anyway but sometimes there seems to be bits where things don't quite work as as they should be and like things might go a bit glitchy but it's certainly nothing that knocks big points off or anything, it's just a personal eight. But the game itself is just so much fun. I No! Yeah. The combat is satisfying. The dungeons are really cool, there's a lot of exploration to do. I love the whole Zelda thing, where you get new things and you can unlock new paths and... And just the amount of different things you get in this game you know, it's on par with a Zelda game, you know, you get a bow, a hook shot. well you don't get a bow, but you know, I'm just making examples here all these cool different tools and it's really fun to use, they're all fun to use and my least favourite is probably the well, I was gonna say the portal gun, but um, I guess the the gun thing, Mercy, or whatever it was called because I well, no, it might be good, I just didn't use it, because there's no point. It probably is, though, but anyway, um... Yeah, the portal gun, I wasn't a huge fan of. But it was fine, I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. Fuck you, fraps! I guess, I don't know, whatever. No, it was fine. I'm just saying, if I had to choose a least favourite, that was probably it, but even then, that wasn't that bad, but... I don't know. I guess just some of the puzzles involving it wasn't... wasn't... I don't know, whatever. It's just a very fun game. I think Darksiders 2 has even more stuff like collectibles and levelling up equipment and stuff like that. So I look forward to that someday. Yeah, gameplay... I don't know, I, I want to give it a 9. It's a, it's a very high end of an 8, I think, for me. The story seemed good. Lifespan, 
as you can see, as you have seen, very good. Lots to do. Lots to find. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even more to do and find if you want to, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just remembering I was missing one of those, like, slottable effect things. <coughs> I think that was one that you buy from Volgrim. Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty here. Overall, I think i give this game a 9. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I don't really know what else to say now. Nothing. So you know what it's time for? Making fun of names. Walid? Walid Camel? No. Stop doing that, because if people watch this game and they have those names... I mean, if people watch this video and they have those names... They'll be unhappy that you're making fun of them. But no, I'm not making fun of them. I'm doing, I'm doing light humour. Make fun of my name if you want. Paul Smart. Smart? Whatever. Jerome Blazy. Blaze Kitty. Kitter. Claus Schmid. Santa Claus Schmid. Who is Schmid? What? That's, that's a weird name to me. Wasn't there a song about that as well? Like. John Jacob Finkelheimer Schmidt or something. I don't know. Travis Plane. He's on a whole other plane of existence. <coughs> Lindell Dekick. Lindell De Kicker. Oh! Gregoff. Let's have a Gregoff. Med Camoin. He's a medical professional and all. What? Debbie Fingerman. Don't finger men. In the butt. Oh. Richard Brownie. Probably just pronounced as Brown. Anyway, yeah. Brill Tan. That's a Brill Tan you got there, mate. As in brilliant. Oh, brilliant. God, the credits are the worst part of the game. I mean, I don't really have to record them, there's, there's really no point to record them. If you want to know who made the game, go look it up, but... It just feels incomplete if I always skip the credits. So I'll just go until I can't stand it anymore, basically. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a new game plus. There wouldn't be much point, but you know... My throat is well dry. That's the trouble with credits, I ain't got nothing to say anymore. Looks like it might be nearing the end though. When you start seeing giant groups of names like that, it feels like we're getting to the special thanks and all that stuff. Yep, there we go, special thanks. This might be the end. Oh no, development babies, no! Why do some games have that? What is that? Is that people who have had kids during the development of the game? Also, do we get some text at the end of it that goes halfway up the screen and then... No! No, the final names didn't even disappear. Was there an extras? No, there wasn't. Let's watch them again. No. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Good game. Long game. Very fun. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next game, whatever that might be. Go away. You too. Bye.